Welcome back. In the fourth video of the series on design tips for developers, let's talk about empty state. Now what exactly am I referring to? Let me begin by setting some context. I have with me a new website called Planter where we can order pots of plants, read articles about plant life, volunteer or even donate. I have navigated to the My Orders page where we can see our order history. Currently, we see three items. Nothing new from what you see in any e-commerce site. As developers though, especially when it's our first time integrating APIs, we always assume data exists in the backend. Very easily, we overlook that the data might in fact be empty. In such a scenario, our page looks like this an empty state where there is no data to render in the UI. A QA or the product owner will be unhappy with this and as a solution, you're likely to add a simple text message that says no orders found. But this, as you can see, is pretty boring. Instead, what you can do is add a better empty state that can guide the user with some information. Here is an example. I have an illustration that relates to the product, that is plants, a text message that says, no orders found, and another piece of text that asks the user to place their first order. I also have a button to easily take the user to their wish list with the hope of them ordering a product leading to better conversion. And this, if you ask me, is a much better user experience. Here's the before screen, and here is the after screen. Anytime you work with an array of data, it is very likely you need to address the empty state scenario. Hopefully, you now know a great way to improve the UI and the UX. Now for illustrations, my go-to website is unraw.co. It has a great set of illustrations for almost every empty state that you can think of. You can pick a color for your illustration and even filter by keywords. Here is another example of a better empty state where the illustration clearly indicates it is waiting for us to search. Do make sure to check out undraw.co. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.